Hello my dear friends, good morning and good evening and a warm welcome to this short series or short session where we are consistently dealing through various topics that will help the mankind to be staying motivated and at the same time it also helps us to be the overcomers. Why it is important to be an overcomer? We always keep repeating, yes, your life will be stagnant, your life will be useless, you will feel that you are almost useless for nothing, right? And that's the reason many people get into depression, distression and stuff like that. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, Bangaloreans, please stay safe. There is a lot of flood situations going on and I hope you have taken good care of your um, vehicles, your homes and all that. Hope, hopefully no waters have entered into your home. All right, today we are here meeting with you at another important topic. What is the name of the topic? Are you drawing lines in your life? What is this line? Horizontal line, vertical line, or it's a curve line, semicircle. What, 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 what is this exactly you are trying to say, my dear friend? Is the question you are asking me? I can hear your mind voice. Yes, it's all about one line. That's it. It could be a horizontal line. It could be a vertical line. It's not a problem. The problem with the mankind here is today. Not all of us realize that we need to limit our expectations in life, right? And that's the reason we have entitled it very interestingly that you need to learn to draw lines in your life. Now, there are various parameters that we want to quickly review. It's going to be a very short session. We will close in less than 10 minutes. I want to just, you know, let us spark in your mind. And obviously, you can start thinking whether am I making sense or not. I'm very confident that I'll be making sense because it made sense to me. And my life is really, really a happy life, a joyful life. I can stipulate what I want. I can limit what I want. I can limit my expectations, my desires, my anxiety, and uh, what is that? Um, uh, the, the, the hope for the future and all that I can limit, right? Having hope is not a problem. Having great visions is not a problem. You need not limit your visions. But when the visions are coming to uh, life in reality, that may be exactly matching with the original vision or it may be partially fulfilled or it may be one quadrant of your vision. Doesn't matter, right? And you need not get frustrated because your vision is not holistically fulfilled. So this is where exactly we are trying to draw some lines, set some standards. Therefore, you are able to make the best use of your life in the things where you have to really focus and concentrate and not kind of overboard yourself in certain things that are not even in your control few parameters starting with health how to draw a line in health man and all that ladies listening to me all of you want to look slim like and slim and trim like Shilpa Shetty you know only or a Rekha Rekha madam is there uh, only you know the years are passing by but uh, she looks the same of course they really strive a lot and you don't even know what all medications they take what all surgeries they have done on their faces this and that so you don't get into the realm of the cine actresses and actors. Some people listening to me, men, overworking in gym. Yeah, I want to build six packs, eight packs, 20 packs and all that. You can never become Salman Khan. Don't worry. Salman Khan is an uh, actor, you know, uh, he is known for his speciality and uh, he's super on screen. And no one can become like him <clears throat> for sure. And, uh, and Salman Khan can never become like me or you. Yeah, that's for sure, right? Can he not have a single pack? No, he always has six packs. So you don't have to feel bad about this. And uh, many, many cases have been reported that when they overboard themselves, when they overwork in gym and all that, they got cardiac arrest. One actor, uh, sorry, one producer's son, he's an actor in, in Karnataka, in Bangalore. He died three years ago. I read in the newspaper. And recently, one of our beloved uh, 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 Kannada superstar uh, Punit Rajkumar, he died and the analysts are saying he overboarded himself. He was really working hard and because of that, you know, cardiac arrest could have happened. That's one of the perspectives. So many people have really lost their lives. Why? Because they want to always look, looking fit and looking slim is different from having the six packs and glow in the skin and all that, you know, some, and surgery is also people and end up their face end up like a monkey or something like that you know you don't your own husband won't be able to recognize the real who you are you don't have to overboard staying fit i'll tell you a few tips you go and talk to any doctor they'll tell you 
have a 30 minutes walk every day in the morning preferably if not mix it some days morning every day you can't go go in the evening no problem five days a week if you walk it's more than enough you don't have to run in the treadmill you know while you run in the treadmill you are giving more stress to the heart who is saying that you know you need not even jog people who are greater than 40 you need not jog you can go for a mild cycling right don't don't pedal it like this and all that why i need to become slim and lose weight losing losing weight is different right you can have and some people really sacrifice their uh, diet and uh, i don't do, i don't take breakfast because i want to lose weight you know what are the consequences if you lose breakfast that's when your cholesterol will increase that's when your blood sugars will have a problem do not skip breakfast if you want have a kind of a you know mild lunch lunch also don't skip but you can skip this along with the tea no they will have all this much of snacks you skip all that have only the tea yeah, tea time you have only tea in the evening and in the night you have dinner early right therefore you will have a healthy life first of all bring lifestyle changes and it starts with your diet pattern secondly your sleep all these things you need to change now why am i i touched upon all these things in a different session therefore i won't get into it you are actually limiting something for something else you understand what i'm saying you are really running hard working in the gym and all that but your lifestyle is just the same your eating habit is the same your diet pattern is the same and something is not right sometimes what happens it's a genetical disorder therefore you don't want to consult a doctor if i go to doctor no he will say something who said that's not the reason why they are educated pick the right doctor therefore there are a lot of doctors who don't diagnose things properly i'm i, I am also aware of that i've gone into such cases too pick the right doctor work with them and they will ensure that prop for example thyroid deficiency can make you to look puffed up and heavy weight and all that one small tablet no it will really you know pull out all the things or bad cholesterol in your body again a course they will give some tablets and you will again come to the normal and in a, it's in a cycle you can keep testing that and all that you understand what i'm saying instead of addressing it in something else you are drawing line somewhere instead of somewhere or in something instead of something right so draw lines in the right areas you draw lines saying that 10 pm onwards i'm not awake i'm going to bed whether i get sleep or not that's a different thing slowly you will your brain will get adjusted trust me and you need to start working on those patterns help and again don't compare yourself you know uh, look at that person he doesn't even go for walking no sugar no bp his his gene system is like that what to do your genes is something else so get it worked and don't compare the more you compare the more you get worked up and depressed this is where exactly the people are you know people are having problem draw lines in areas like where i won't compare myself in terms of health we are still dealing with health parameter my 8 minutes gone in that only wealth parameter very very important parameter at some point of time please limit what is what is the limitation your bank balance property houses cars jewels that is gold and silver whatever you want and uh, money for the future right you don't have to stake up money for four five generations allow that to your daughter or your son let them earn right no problem but take care of your son and daughter and leave behind inheritances that's a blessing no problem with that but then don't overboard yourself keep running when will you enjoy life when will you enjoy what you have earned right therefore limit these days many people covid had taught us lot of things and many people have really understood the value of life and there is a new era new trend going on where they have started for retirement plan young people i'm talking about people who are in 40 and mid 40s and all that they have already started to think of their retirement plan retirement plan beyond 50 they don't want to work they really want to enjoy their life you keep working until 58 and you end up in a heart attack at the age of 60 and you pass away you will not have time for anything in life i'm not saying that you should quit your job and you know take some loan and then start enjoying your life not not like that we are not so stupid right and no one is stu- stupid here but what i'm trying to say here is plan it out plan it out and start drawing lines take a big compass and draw a line or something like that hmm? in terms of your wealth you keep running for wealth sky is the limit for money who doesn't want money how much ever money you give you talk about ambani's adani's they are still expanding business you talk about tata they are in the business since, since 17th century they have uh, all over the world across the world all the businesses and they are the biggest entrepreneurs and uh, are they limiting themselves no sky is the limit but you and i being normal uh, citizens of india middle class people upper middle class or whatever you can clearly limit and start planning it out and also plan for your retirement right retirement investments and something like that you can 
invest in uh, LIC, post office, fixed deposits, this and that. Therefore, even if you retire or pension plans, even if you retire, there is a regular income that is coming and you live in your own house, you are not in a rented house. All that you need to do is spend for little fuel and then, you know, for your food and for your living and you can enjoy your life. You want to travel somewhere, you can take your wife and go for a Europe trip or something like that and enjoy your life. Until you draw this line, all these thoughts will never open up because you will be so busy. You know, People are talking, I will work until the age of 58 and why are you working until 58? Already you have earned enough. Yeah, there is any dependencies. For example, you are a single breadwinner and some bad incidents happened and all that. That's a sad situation. I agree. Yeah, you know, people are dependent on you and you have to go and work. No other choice. Right. What is the next parameter? Job. <laughs> Pressures in the job is the one which is making all of us to feel sick and ill. And nobody enjoys their job. First principle is do the kind of job or be involved in the kind of job which really makes you feel satisfied glad and happy how do you return back home from work many of us are working from home how do you feel when you go to bed you are gnashing your teeth and or you're sweating and or you're angry red-faced and always cribbing about someone to your wife and wife you know cribbing about someone to your husband and what kind of companies is i want to quit don't say you quit why are you even saying I want to quit enough of this and all that? Say, don't say that, you know, do it. Because why? You are not finding your peace. You're not finding your joy and happiness there. So why are you even working in that company? That's the first principle. You're having job satisfaction. You're feeling glad. You're feeling that you're a value add to your employer. Then stay in the place, else don't stay, right? And number two, do not compare your salaries with people inside your company and outside your company. Biggest mistake all the professionals, not only IT professionals, you know, I'm also 10 years experience, but I'm getting only 15 lakhs. My friend, no, he went to some other company is getting 28 lakhs. Ask your friend to refer you, go work in that company. Why are you even sitting and gossiping and wasting your time and other people's time? When you tell this to 20 people, no, all the 20 people will have the same thought. You are inde injecting some negativity. So draw lines for this comparisons. I repeat it again. Then it comes to job and salaries and promotions and levels and all that. Never compare. Stop it. I was like you one, once upon a time, but long ago I have given that habit because why I am very decisive and I know what I want to do in this company and the day I don't get it, I am very clear that I am going to quit my job and find a different job and I am very clear on my retirement age, which I am not going to tell you because it's a private matter, nothing else. Um, my wife may not feel good about it, <laughs> I was just joking, right? It's a very uh, personal uh, decision and of course you also can decide something like that. And again, the pressure in the job, right? Sometimes it's up and down, I agree. Not always it is like a straight line. Straight line in the ECG box is the, you know, that the heart machine box, uh, it, it tells it you are a dead rubber, right? You are dead and gone. It can, life can never be a straight line. There are a lot of ups and downs, which is, uh, which is acceptable. Sometimes there are, there is too much of pressure. You will have to work hard. You will have to stretch yourself and because, but always stretching, then you really need to work with your manager or with your HR and find out a solution because all companies are welcoming work-life balance. It is employees like you and me should strive and work for it, right? They will not come and feed you. Ah, open your mouth. Let me feed you with food and all that. No, you, if you want the only crying babies get milk, go and fight for it. I'm always getting pressurized and why are you not doing anything about it and all that? Fix it and draw lines to that pressure. It will really help you for a rejuvenated life, for an energized life and for all that. And not only that, there are so many other parameters like emotional outbursts, being moody, mood swings and um, frustrations, uh, depressions, worried always about the future. They've done a session, why are people worried about the future, all these things. These are other attributes where you need to keep drawing line. In fact, if possible, strike, do, you know, there is a double strike line, no? So strike out certain things like worry and fear. Do not be worried, do not be fearful, what are you going to gain? But think through it, consult the right people, take their counsel, advice and then start doing something about it. Just sitting there and keeping a long face like a train engine and worrying will never help you. So apply these principles to your life and your life is going to, you are going to be like a shining star and your life is going to change and you are naturally going to be an overcomer. God bless you. Take care. Please subscribe to our channel. Get uh, access to all our playlists. There are plenty of motivational videos. If you are 
um if you are not a believer in god if you are, there are a lot of bible teachings also available in our channel if you are a christian you can go through it we are not uh, enforcing anything like that to any other friends listening to me belonging to any religion you can ignore but there are there is a playlist what we have created only motivational videos there are hundreds of videos available watch that and stay blessed all right you need any other topics like this talk to me or call me or just text me in that window and i will get a immediate notification and i will definitely work for it and i will present it to you all for free no money no charges okay all that we we need the charge only charge we impose is please lend your ears and listen and stay blessed all right bye tata